Hello, my name's Edward Hall and I am the director of The Secret Adversary and NRM, which are the two stories being filmed um, for the BBC for a series which we call Partners in Crime. Um, and I'd like to put down my marker as The Secret Adversary being the world's favourite Christie. Um, I'm going to read the first paragraph, which I think in the original book set in the early 1920s is about as perfect an opening piece of prose as you can get with all the thrills of an episode of the Titanic wrapped up with the thriller espionage excitement of a modern thriller film. Here it is. It was 2 p.m. on the afternoon of May the 7th, 1915. The Lusitania had been struck by two torpedoes in succession and was sinking rapidly while the boats were being launched with all possible speed. The women and children were being lined up, awaiting their turns. Some still clung desperately to husbands and fathers. Others clutched their children closely to their breasts. One girl stood alone, slightly apart from the rest. She was quite young, not more than 18. She did not seem afraid, and her grave, steadfast eyes looked straight ahead. That's it, and you're in, really, gripped from the word go. Now, in the television series Partners in Crime, we've transported that opening scene of a sinking boat to a train and a platform in, in Paris, and the girl in question is um, nervously getting onto the train with a mystery package, which in the book, is, of course, is the treaty, and, and in our series becomes a, a recording. Uh, it's been an absolute delight working with this. It's, um, it's unique, actually, for two reasons. Firstly, Tommy and Tuppence the characters that Agatha Christie loved all through her life and it tells you a lot about how close they were to her heart and they're the only characters that aged with her um, as she got older her characters Tommy and Tuppence got older and when you work with the material and when you get close to the story as I have with Jessica Rain and David Williams you can really appreciate the fabulous mix of thriller and romance and I might be quite um, controversial here in comparing that to Shakespeare because always in Shakespeare's Act 5 you get a moment where you understand a great play or the characters in one of his great plays because it boils down to personality. And he understood that that in the end is what makes the world go round, the personalities of the powerful people that surround us. Agatha Christie understood that and she has written that beautifully into The Secret Adversary. If you hadn't read it, read it and I guarantee you'll be hooked on a journey with Tommy and Tuppence all the way through their lives just as Agatha Christie was hooked on a journey with them all the way through hers. The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie, the world's favourite Christie. Vote for it.